Welcome. My topic today is Live is like a rental car with limited miles. You know one of the conveniences that we take for granted in this society is the ability to use what is not ours for a period of time. We call it rental. Today in America you can rent just about anything from electronics to furniture to movies to small and heavy equipments and of course cars. Now let's say you need to rent a car. There are some basic understandings that you have to have. That includes whether or not your rental is limited or unlimited mileage. When the car is due for return and the cost of the rental. And of course you know the car is not yours. You do not own it. You're just renting. In fact, sometimes rental companies even have their company logo on their cars just to remind you that it's not yours. Okay, that's car rental. Now, how is life like a rental car? Number one, your life is not yours. It belongs to God, the Creator. Number two, like a rental car, your life is given to you for a definite period of time. When the time is up, your life is due back for return to God. Number three, like a limited mileage rental car, the days of your life have a quota. And by the end of today, you would have driven one more mile out of the total number of miles you are allowed. Of course, rental cars are not free. We know that. You have to pay the rental company for driving their car. Likewise, God is expecting profits from every day that He allows you to live. Your life is not yours. It belongs to Him. Each day belongs to Him. Even the earth belongs to Him. Remember, He created the world long before you and I got here. Have you been living your life as if it belonged to you or to God? Have you been living for the purpose of bringing glory to God, profiting His kingdom and fulfilling His agenda every day? Or has it been about you? In the past one month, how much has God gained as a result of your existence? If your time on earth were to expire tonight, would God end up a loser because you have been living every day walking on fulfilling your personal agendas? Friends, if you could see the dashboard of the car of your life right now, what would you find there? How many miles have you driven? And how many miles do you have more to go? You may say, well, I don't know. That is exactly my point. You do not know. But this is what you should know. How have you spent your life so far? And how do you plan to spend the rest of the miles you have? Remember that life's mileage is not renewable. And just by living, you are using up the miles every day. What does your dashboard say? Are you almost there? Some of you listening to me right now have removed the name of God from the car of your life. You know, just like you might see a rental company's logo on their cars, for example. You have removed the name of God from the car of your life. So now, it's my life. This is what I'm going to do for my life. You are basically making that rental car yours by taking the ownership of your life. Others of you are running like crazy, driving to escape, returning the car to the owner. But you have forgotten that one day the police of God will catch up to you. Do you know who the policeman of God is? It's death. It catches up with everyone. And one of these days, you're going to hear the siren blasting behind your ears. The light flashing behind your car, waving you to pull over and saying to you, Sir, you've got to return that car. It's just a rental and your time is up. Now, it's not wise to wait until the police of God pulls you over because it's, it will be better for you to surrender your life to God right now and He can preserve that life for you. Some of you right now have mistreated the vehicle of your, of your life. You have rammed it into walls, banged it all over. The paint is, is falling off and you have soiled up the inside. It's not pretty anymore. But if you knew you were going to return it, you would clean it up, wouldn't you? Look inside the car of your life right now. What's there? What do you have riding with you? Do you have anger there? Animosity there? Selfishness there? Hatred there? And the likes. Are these things riding in the car of your life? If God were to ask you to return the car today, would it be presentable to the owner? Job, a godly man, says in Job 14.5 that man's days are determined. The number of his months is with God. And God has appointed his limits so that he cannot pass. So I ask you again, 
When will you begin to live your life as if it belongs to God? Because it does. When will you begin to make every day of your life profit God? Because He's expecting profit from it. And when will you order your life so that it will be fit for return whenever your time is up and your renter expires? I hope you will make that decision today. If you'd like to talk more about this or you would like to ask some questions, please contact me through the website or drop me some comments below. How many miles do you have more to go?